Hi everyone, it's Gwathon from Gwathon's Games and I am today going to be running a level 18 Rune Master. Just an introduction to Dangerous Deadly Plus 6, I should say, uh, which when patch 36 comes out is going to be renamed as Heroic Plus 2. So I just thought I would go to Bree and talk to show you the different 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 difficulties that are set. Now I'm set on difficulty nine, which is deadly plus six. As I said, that's going to change to heroic plus two, but it's just outside the prancing pony if you want to set your difficulty level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a bit of a ride. And I thought I would spend a little bit of time at the, I'll actually go out this way, spend a little bit of time showing you the Rune Keeper at Deadly Plus Six, what it can do and what I've done to enhance it a little bit. So, just get out and we'll start picking some things up as soon as we can see some critters okay there's one okay field bear you can see the dps meter at the at the bottom now i'm just going to do, just do a little bit of fighting here So that's a teal critter. So it's four levels lower than me. You can see that I am managing to do it, but it's still a bit, still a bit difficult. Um, I'll try again with this one. You can see I'm running yellow line, but I'll show you. There's the eye of. Sauron. Okay, and there was a corruption on that. Okay, so I can fairly comfortably take these out, the teals. Go for a conclusion. And there we go. So, fairly consistent. That's without having any food and without any of the other buffs. So I'll actually take some of the food. So that's some cooked food, some wound resistance, because wounds tend to be the most problematic for uh, characters. I'll go for a bit of fate, just have increased my critical chance, a bit of lesser battle lore for some extra physical and, well, tactical mastery, and some extra mitts from the warding lore. So that'll throw a little bit more make the character a little bit stronger. Let's go and see if we can find another teal bear. So I'm running a heal, prelude to hope, as just to keep my health up. And let's take this out. A little bit faster. As you can see, that's from all the extra little benefits. Okay, let's go again. Just a little bit faster. Now, uh, I'll actually make gradually make my way up to the orcs, which is where I want to be. And while I'm doing that, I will talk a little bit what, about what the character is. So I've set the character up as yellow line. I have an extra point to put in, which I haven't put in yet, which I'm actually going to put into the extra. Actually, I'll probably end up putting that into extra rune stone. I like the yellow line. Uh, mainly because the stun that comes from all the attacks 
stops the deadly plus six from being as dangerous. Uh, it does make things easier when you can stun your opponents. Okay, you can run red line as well, and I, if I have the time, I might show a bit of red line. The, one of the other advantages to yellow line is that the uh, lightning stone has a 20 second cooldown, whereas the volcanic stone has a 30 second cooldown. And if you're going to be using the, the volcanic stone or the lightning stone as a defensive roll, uh, you, it's nice to be able to call on it as often as possible. Okay, so I haven't got any of the uh, racial traits slotted yet i will go for the extra combat speed out of combat speed okay let's gone up a little bit further and i'm running more or less maxed out everything i'm actually going to take that out because i was leveling honor so when i get the extra one i'll get i'll slot it in there but i am running Tactical mitts, physical mitts, and resistance. Tactical mitts, physical mitts, and resistance. Tactical mitts, physical mitts, and vitality. Tactical mitts, physical mitts, and armor. The only extra one that I've got is going to be tactical mitts, critical defense, and some extra morale. So I'm trying to maximize all of the tactical and physical mitts. The main reason it's a light armored character and my armor is just not really good enough. If I didn't have the physical mitigations, I would be one shot from range creatures. Uh, but other than that, everything is fairly standard. So this is all crafted by my tailor. Light armor, level 15 crafted. I could go for the purple versions of those if I had the critical crit chance, but I haven't for this character and I've got the crafted uh, runestone as well. So that's actually crafted by this character um, who is who was working as a tailor. But, yep, I, I created the runestone and then I changed his profession. Okay, so let's go again and we will try something a little bit harder. Go for the healing. Keep going with the healing. Just hit it with everything you've got. Get out of the way of the Eye of Sauron. And there we go. So that was a yellow critter. Just taken down with direct spells. Now, what I've also got is I have, I'm currently running with the uh, chisel, which is giving me critical hits, but I also have the one that gives a 50% increase in Prelude to Hope, initial healing, which is quite useful from here. Um, and I'm actually going to change over to that. I, if I had the purple version of that, I'd get a 100% bonus to Prelude of Hope, which would be more useful. But, oops, okay, let's go on take something else there's a bear cub i don't really want the bear cub we'll go for another wolf again heal over time and we'll just knock everything out heal over time but it's also got a, that initial heal and there we go that initial heal does definitely help pushing you up okay so we've got a whole heap of yellow critters and I just thought what I would do is I would do a the rune keeper roundup or what I call the rune keeper roundup which is 
running in, running in, keep going to that, keep going to everything, get to an archer, drop, and I died. Just goes to show. Yellow creatures, three of them, problematic. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drop the rune stone and see if I can survive. Okay, dropping that in three, two, one. And they are busy fighting the rune stone and I have survived. It's one of those few things that you can actually get away with. The rune stone acts as a taunt. I then hit Prelude to Hope and ran. Uh, so let's go back to having these up again, getting my food up. So you saw just how much damage I took from the arrow. It, it just basically one shot me. Um, and there, there was nothing I could do about it. So light armor characters have all sorts of problems with range and let's have another go. One level above me, not as much of a problem. Drop the rune stone because I'm in danger. Gone. Okay. Again, prelude to hope. Prelude to hope. Just bring yourself back up to full. Now, you've, you've seen, you may have seen some of the other characters that have been run. Um, and let's go back to critical. That's the lightning one, which is the critical. So extra critical rating. Let's see, what, see whether that makes a difference. Okay. So again, all physical and tactical mids, and I'm still getting one shot by archers. Okay, so they are higher level than me. So this is a level 19 archer. I will take a lot of damage from that. So let's see what happens. But if I don't get right in there and drop that, it's going to be difficult. So I will run in, drop the rune stone, Use it as a taunt. And there we go. As I said, not as good as the... we got a 20 second cooldown, which is good. But I will go and take another archer out. I will try one on one against an archer. And let's see how we go. I've got the healing going. one not a particular problem although I have died no I didn't die I almost died again physical mitts light armor always a problem I'll go back in to have more battle law for extra tactical damage and an extra 95 to physical mitts and I will try again so this is two melee characters I'm actually going to just aggro them I'll make it three. One, two, drop stone, run away. Done. Now there should be a boss. I uh, don't know what chance there is of me being able to do that, but I will try. So this is deadly plus six. Difficult. You've got to throw everything at it. Now I will try the Red Reaver, who is there. See if I can get him on his own. There's a blade with him. Let's see if I can get up through here and pick him up up here. I'm going to go straight for the rune stone. Oh. 
works as a great taunt and managed. So that's the that's the essentially the tactic for a yellow line rune keeper. Now I will swap over just because I will swap over to the red line. Let's throw the extra one in there so that's almost maxed again. Trying to get the most physical and tactical mitts that I can and we're running a red line with I'm going to don't really get away we can't really get away with with self-motivation um can drop the armor a little bit no i'll go for the extra two points into the rune stone kick that up a little bit okay so this is the red line version of it again i'm going to be using the heel over time but I'm actually going to pop the bubble because I can get a bubble in just very quickly if I'm running blue. Okay, let's go for the archer. Okay, you can see I took a lot of damage because I did not stun them. Try again. Rid of fire, rid of fire, rid of fire, no damage. Yep, could not do it. Without the stun, very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. And I've now been sent back to here. Okay. Well, that is as good as, from what I can see, that is as good as the Rune Keeper goes. You can actually bring in a blue Rune Keeper, but it takes a lot of time to, to uh, take critters down and you're still not getting enough healing from the Rune Stone and it is only a 30 second cooldown. So it works, but you're better off running with the stun, with the rune, with, with the yellow rune stone, rune keeper, and put everything in, all your abilities in, so your cooked food, your fortifying food, and your trail food, as well as your battle. And that's pretty much as good as it gets. Um, I've got a lot of undone, unfinished deeds in the Shire and uh, I've started doing some in Bree. Now, if you look at the deeds that I've done, the only ones I've done basically are, you can see I've only just done the orcs, begun the Orc Slayer, um, and I've only got one Slayer deed in the Shire, but I have completed everything in Ered Luan. So completing all the deeds, including the Slayer deeds in Ered Luan, will get you basically max of the five stats that you're going to be using, four of the five stats that you're going to be using uh, to get your mitigations, physical and tactical, as well as a bit of resistance. Okay, so thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. We are doing the series of introduction videos for uh, all of these characters and we are Capture is running the Bjorning on Treebeard and we're releasing that very regularly. So I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.